What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Ryan's Average VODs. It's your first time here throughout the video. If you enjoy it, subscribe, like, comment. It helps the algorithm a lot out for me. Today, we're going to watch some catfish because MTV is one of the only networks that actually approves these videos and doesn't copyright strike them. So we're going to keep going here. Uh, today, we're going to watch Catfish Exposed by Anonymous Tips. I don't know why I said anonymous. It's anonymous. Um, so I'm guessing some people are going to call in or email in and uh, give uh, maybe Neve and Cammy and Max some info. So without further ado, let's get on with the catfishing, shall we? Our favorite time, our favorite show here on the, on the channel. And uh, we're probably in for a doozy, as always, if I get to a part where we've watched, uh, like, one of these segments before, it's okay, it's a countdown, whatever, we'll just, you know, I forget, well, I always say I forget what I eat for lunch daily, and if, uh, uh, today I remember because I went to Costco and got the chicken bake, I'll tell you what, I'm a big Costco guy, okay, I got the, look at the membership here, okay, look at this, I'm very proud of it, okay, gold star member. It's pretty much the basic one, but whatever, you know, big, big Costco guy. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Get into it, yeah. We got an email from the casting department, which is a little unusual. Hey guys, we Here's forwarded Neve. you an email from an anonymous Derek source. Derek and Annabelle. This isn't the way things normally come Who the hell's that? Us, but it seems I've never seen her before. Where's Cammy? Seems like an interesting case. An anonymous person wrote in. Anonymous whistleblower. Well, here's the email. Can you blow my Dear whistle, Neve. baby, Emma. whistle, Emma. baby. Laura, is that his wife? I am, but I'm, I'm gonna, gonna guess? ask for your help. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, and the only way out was to send you this email. Okay. Okay. I'm writing to tell you about this guy I know. He looks like Derek. Kyle. Derek okay, was close, born and Derek, raised Kyle. in the Vancouver, Washington area, and is nice to pretty much everyone. That's usually something I like about him, but right mm. now, it's a problem. Derek recently got out of a long-term serious relationship. In the blood? What's going on there? He was pretty torn up about it. Five months ago, his friends took him out to cheer him up. That night, he ended up chatting with a girl named Annabelle uh -oh. on Snapchat. He went from heartbroken to head. My buddies and I saw your pics. You are so hot. Okay, Derek. Over heels in a matter of days and hasn't looked back since. Thanks, handsome. Want to see more? Oh, boy. This ain't good. Already a bad start. You're one text in and the girl's already saying you want to see more. That means it's probably a dude. I like that a lot. Heartbroken to head over heels. See though. Derek won't stop talking about this girl. But she's refusing to meet him. Uh oh, yep, she's she's having issues with work. Even though she lives nearby. Or Derek, I see this strong is going. connection, but I think he's ignoring a lot of issues because his heart is broken and she's hot. Can't stop looking at your body. Oh boy, Derek. If you guys don't help him, I think he's gonna fall in love with Annabelle and waste months or years of his time building a relationship with someone who I think doesn't even exist. Derek has no idea I'm doing this, but if you can Damn, please so one of his up, homies is doing this to, to help him out a little bit. Okay. He straight up gave his number out. Oof. Yeah, hi, is this Derek? It is. Hey, Derek, uh, this is Neve from Catfish. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I know. Neve from Catfish. Hey, watch Catfish. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, no well, worries. cool. Well, I'm here with my wife. I, I thought it was his wife, the way they were sitting next to each other. Okay, Laura, Laura, and Neve. I like this combo. Never seen him before. Laura, who's actually uh, co hosting this episode with me. Hi, Derek. Can you FaceTime? Uh, yeah, try me. All right. Hello. Hi. What's up, you guys? What's up, man? Derek rocking the uh, the shaggy shirt. You know, little Scooby Doo vibes there. The light, the, the light green. Seems to also be a big fan of the uh, of the headband, the bandana. Good for him. Definitely giving some shaggy vibes. Leg zoing Scoob. Back with me right now. I don't know how the hell. You know? <laughs> so someone at the show got an email from an an anonymous person. You name. don't know who it is. No. no. Who wrote in and said, hey, I know Derek, and I know he's been talking to this girl. Derek's Annabelle, talking to a dude. And I'm worried that maybe she's not who she says she is. Okay. I, so I guess we just want to know a little more information about you and Annabelle and your relationship. Okay, I guess uh, it all started when uh, I was in this three-year relationship, and we broke up. 
Oh. Damn, they just eliminating that girl out of the photo like she's a glitch in the Matrix. Five months ago, then one of my good buddies went out, got some drinks, and the last thing I remember... Oh, Giga. <laughs> we gotta love the username here. Stoner Babes 4200, not 420, because that was probably taken. So this person went with Stoner Babes 4200. Come on, man. Member of that night was trying to hit up the premium Snapchat called Stoner Babes. There's a lot of chicks, pictures. Oh, no. I don't really remember. Premium Snapchat, Derek. Terry, I think Derek might be a little bit of a simp. To be honest, I was too to the win. You know, I just got broken up. I was trying to go have some fun. Oh, no. I woke up and I deleted everything because I don't snap. Well, then about two weeks after that, I get this message uh -oh. from Annabelle. Hey I'm there, thinking. handsome man. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you went out with your friends. You think at some point in... Oh, man, what if it's one of the friends? Oh, boy. The night they convinced you to sign up for, like, a premium Snapchat. And two weeks later, you get a Facebook message. Did she say that that's how you met? She said something about Snapchat. Oh, it's one of his friends. Oh, Shaggy. Started talking to her, then this connection started happening because she likes everything I like. Oh, no, they know. Oh, I'm calling it right now. When they know everything already, that's not coincidence. That means that's somebody, it's either an ex, right, or a friend. Oh, no. Because she says here, here then Annabelle, we'll call him Adam Bell. How about that instead? Because it's probably not Annabelle. When I get home from work, I'm going to sit down with some steak and whiskey, right? They already know this man from Scooby-Doo loves steak and whiskey. So, of course, he's going to be like, no way. I just met my dream girl. I love steak and whiskey. That sounds like a song, too. Steak and whiskey. It's strawberry white. Started happening because she likes everything I like. Oh, Derek. It's strange, but like, because oh, I got a relationship, boy. it's something to fall back to. She made me feel good, like when I was texting her. Where does Annabelle live? She says she lived in Portland, Oregon. Okay. You live very close to her. Yes. I try to meet up and stuff. She's busy working. Working them 24 hour day only shifts. Message through Facebook or have you talked on the phone? Only through Facebook. She Shocker. will not let me call her or talk to her or nothing. That's cool. It's a dude. You don't even have her phone number. I don't. Oh, wow. Derek. Do you Derek. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it to me. What's the, the? I like the. I always love the compilation because they jump right to it. They cut all the BS. Okay. All right. Well, that's not a great sign, and I'm guessing it's going to be a dude. Let's see if I'm wrong. Are you kidding me? What the? F <laughs> I do <knew> it. <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to laugh, but it was pretty damn obvious. Buddy, Jeremy. That's Becca's brother. Oh no. What's up, Derek? What the f Uh oh. There's a lot of reasons and a lot of stuff I gotta tell you. Uh -oh. What's your name? Sorry. My I'm guessing this is his ex girlfriend's brother. My name's Jeremy. Jeremy. I'm I'm one of Derek's really good friends. Okay, oh. cool. I am trying to just fix all this. That's why I'm here, bro. Oh boy. I'm not here to hurt you in any way, bro. I'm here to, I'm just trying to help, you I care about dude, you. I'm shaking right now, bro. Like, I'm, just... I'm not Annabelle. Okay. Okay, so oh. I hope not. Okay. I'm not Oh, oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Well, that okay. Well, that threw me in for a loop here. All right, not Annabelle. So is he the anonymous tip person then? Maybe not Annabelle. I'll just go get Annabelle. We'll just. I'll be right back. Okay. If Annabelle's real, I'm gonna lose my shit. There's no there. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm confused. I talk to him all the time. Like he showed, I showed him everything about Annabelle, and like oh, he no. was playing it off, and he's on. Oh my god. I'm confused. That better not be your sister, dude. Oh no. Is that Becca? It definitely. Oh my god. That is Becca. Yeah. If this is one big joke, dude, I'm gonna f hit him for life. You're gonna f him for life? Is that what? You, what the? Oh. What the? Oh this my is, god, dude. This is my sister. Becca. Right? Becca. Oh no, it's be okay. one of his best friends' we, we sister. Spoke on the phone, right? Yeah. Neve, and this is Laura. Hi. 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 Oh, boy. Can well, someone just explain? Girl, at least. What's going on? Yeah, please. So, I, I'm Annabelle. You're not Annabelle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, everything I said was the truth. They always say it. Everything I said was the truth. Yeah, except you, everything. <laughs> except your name. <laughs> what you look like. What, just because you like steak and whiskey? <laughs> they always say that. Everything. Everything was the truth, except... Except everything else. Just, everything you said. Everything. everything I said was the truth. I just was afraid to talk to you as me because you're like a brother to me. I've known you for so long. Oh, boy. I don't even know what to say. Did you send the email? No, I, I did write the anonymous email. 
you wrote in? I thought I, he wrote in this no, whole time. No, I, I was in the middle of it, listening to both sides, and I couldn't. Oh be no, just I feel bad for Jeremy here. Between my best friend and my sisters. Jeremy, how long did you know she had been catfishing Derek? Probably like after like a month or two, I knew. How did you find out? I had a feeling just because she was always on her phone, and then I was asking her who she's talking to, and then one day I just kind of figured it out. I'm. I'm mind blown right now. I feel so stupid right now. This is like my life, bro. Okay. Okay, that could have went worse, though. I mean, you know, I've seen way worse ones. So, you know, maybe Derek and Becca had a thing. All right, now we have Romeo. We got an email here. I'm going to let oh, you read it. We got Cammy. Oh, oh, you're okay. involved. Go ahead. All right. This is an email from someone named Romeo. I need a lover to keep me sane. Hey, Cammy Cam and word? Phoebe Neve. I'm in need of your guys' help. Cam. I'm 23 years old from Philly, and I live hey. in Atlanta now. Philadelphia, stand up, my hometown. It's on my wrist. Well, you can't really see it, but there. it looks terrible. You got to look at it the other way. This is the skyline of Philly, but it only works if you look at it like that. What a, just whatever. A year ago, like I still up. wasn't out. But then a guy named Michael DM'd me. Something made me respond. I turned out Eminem? Michael Hold on, look at DM'd me. Some okay, that's certainly not Eminem. Kind of looked like him for a second. Something made me respond. And it turns out he was just what I needed when I was afraid to take the next step with a man. I was falling for him. Okay, quickly. Romeo and Michael. Great edits here. What is this? A fan fiction? What is going? What is? These are these definitely the later seasons because their budget really goes up here. What they? It's just a. They start to do like these are like some edits from the MagCon days. You know, we'd have like Cam and Nash pop up. He messaged constantly, and he motivated me to live my truth. So okay, earlier this year, drops, I hearts. came out, and I'm happier. Than I've ever been. Man, it makes me want to eat a Hershey's kiss. Ever since then, our relationship has deepened, and I'm even more in love than ever. Okay, but you've never spoken or seen each other on video. Eventually, Michael encouraged me to move to Atlanta to be with him. Damn! Oh, like, wait a second. It all sounded crazy, but also like the best idea I could think of. So I did it. Oh, God. The best idea you could think of was move with somebody you've never met before in an entirely different state. You got to start getting a little bit more ideas. Start using some AI, chat GBT. He'll do it for you. I'm going to get a water. But even though I moved all the place. way down here, Michael and I still haven't met up or even video chatted. Knew it. We're, I'm a pro. If you're watching this, you're a pro. We, we see these coming. Cammy's face says it all. This man moved to Atlanta. Bruh. Left his home, moved to Atlanta. Bruh. To, to be closer to his man, the love of his life. Bruh. And they still have not met up or video chatted. Bruh. Bruh. Tell me a secret. Baby, I'll keep That's crazy. And it's been seven months. God. That's crazy. They, uh, what? That's. Oh, my God. Wait, listen to this. That's bad. Oh. This is bad. Hey, hey, the person you're talking to isn't the person they said. Oh, boy. Oh boy. A week ago, I got a weird anonymous a week text ago, week ago. saying that Michael isn't who I think wow, he is. Wow, no, no shocker there. I have no there. idea who it's from, and I haven't said anything to Michael. What? Yet. You're kidding me. No way. Come on, Romeo. At this point, I love him, but I'm starting to get oh, impatient. Boy. Starting? Yeah. <laughs> I you might love her. It might be a girl. All this. Angel, baby. Thanks, Romeo. I got a text message from I don't know who number it is. The person that right, there's you're Romeo's got to some cool hair. He's got the Troy Palomaro hair. Send me a link. It took me to somebody else's Instagram page. Uh oh, said, it's Arquez. But it was picture of Michael. I'm like, oh, maybe you know Michael made a new Instagram page. Maybe Michael made a new Instagram page named Arquez. I don't know about that one. It sounds like someone sent you the actual person. Yes. I pray to God that. This is actually Michael Instagram. Maybe he made a new account or something. Oh boy, the naiveness is really jumping out. Looks like he's going to heaven right there when I paused it. <laughs> like got rid of his face. <laughs> it just looks like giant dog ears. Try Michael's number and see what we get. Oh boy. Phone share. Nothing. Mm. Let's search the anonymous phone number 
Yeah. Who said, I know you've been talking to this guy, Michael. That's not who he is. The pictures are actually this guy. Okay. Nothing there. But Shocker. it does say that it's also a Philadelphia number. You're right. Definitely looking like there's a Philadelphia connection here. Mm -hmm. It's a friend. It's always a friend. Should we search or the next. informant's number in Cash App? Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, Lanier, 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 Lanier. Lan Lanier. What? <gasps> Ooh. Lanier. Lanier. Lanier, 1997. He's oh, 23. Boy. I mean, look, if this guy is 23 and he's from Philadelphia, I feel like mm -hmm. there's a very good chance this informant and Romeo have crossed paths. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. So. The next thing that we did was brand really the his look. informant number through Cash App. Got the oh, prince uh, this is what vest on. Let me see zoom in on the picture. Oh, he knows who that is. He knows. Okay, I know who that is. Yep, could just tell. Me and him used to go to school together. Oh, boy. So wait, you do know this guy? I know of him. So me and him used to go to school together. We did used to follow each other on Instagram. He used to like all my pictures and things like that too. And he would like comment. And he would always say things like cute. And a lot of people that like wanted me. Okay, why well, he went from, hey, I kind of know him or know of him to, he commented on every photo, DM me, followed me, had my post notifications on, had me best friends on Snapchat, used to come over, bake cookies, and we would make dinner in the middle of the night. We watch episodes of, Re of Friends. In the past, that like, I, I curved. He was one of them. So I don't oh, know like, him too well. The anonymous phone. Okay, well, the, you should have said that before you said, I, I know of him. Well, if you curved him, there's a chance that he could be getting revenge. Remember that texted you Arquez's profile is registered to Lanier on Cash App. Right. And you know Lanier. Oh, boy. And you know he liked you. So that's starting to Let's feel put like. put the pieces Michael together here. I'm not a Lanier, puzzle maker, but. For some reason, a couple weeks ago, he. From another number. Also, at some point, if you're watching this, can you comment if the sound is okay? Because I had to redo my mic situation. So, as long as my mic isn't like insanely loud and then you can hear the desktop audio of the show and hear me over it sometimes, just I'm one of you or whatever. If you could just say, hey, Ryan, it sounds good, or just give me some honest feedback if it's too loud to whatever, just so I can. Because it's, it's sometimes it's hard for me to know how good it sounds, even when I play it back myself, because everybody has different volume uh, like this is. I sent you that message to try and come clean, I guess, or, or at least help you understand that Michael isn't the guy in the pictures. Here, okay, oh. it's going to be Lanier, for sure. Boom. Hello, hello. Bam. Hello. Lanier, right? Uh, it's Lanier, but I go by Michael. This man did not just say that. <laughs> it's Lanier, but I go by Michael. <laughs> okay. Wait, you go by Michael in real life or just with Romeo? No, I go by Michael in real life. Uh-huh. Okay, welcome to Catfish. Confused. Even though you say you're not a catfish. I don't think that I am a catfish. How not? As far as the picture, I felt like it looked like me. This, are you kidding me? Oh! I feel like it looked like I'm not a catfish. That guy, that photo I've been using, that's not me. That looked kind of like me. First of all, he might need to get his vision checked. Not that he's a bad looking dude, but what in the hell? That'd be like me literally using Ryan Gosling as a profile and a girl being like disappointed that they met me and I'm not Ryan Gosling and they get like the, the, the C tier version. And they'd be like, well, you know, they're the same name and uh, same eyes, same nose structure. But Yikes. that was the only thing that was a lie. Okay, Yikes. well, why don't we just give you an opportunity to sort of say whatever your piece is, explain yourself, because we obviously have a lot of questions. Um, That's Michael well, C. Jordan. I made that account in middle school before okay. I came out. I wasn't a really a social person, so the page was really mainly to manage my coming out, but later on, I started to see Romeo on Instagram, and it was kind of like, I should try to talk to him, and oh. I DM'd him from Michael's account. But Romeo said that you had liked and commented on some of his pictures at some point as Lanier. I probably liked him, but he didn't reply. Michael, when you first came on, you said, the only thing I lied about was the picture. Now, right. obviously, we didn't know that you got that, I'll tell you what, that chain so, looks okay, heavy. That, him, and, him and Cammy might have the same chain. It's getting blocked right now, but uh, they kind of got the same, you know, same style right there. Can't be, look, can't be looking extra good in this video. That makes sense. 
But you also said you lived in Atlanta, right? So have you been living right. in Atlanta? So I do go back and forth. This man made this dude move to Atlanta and he doesn't even live there? From Philadelphia to Atlanta. I have family in both places. Okay. But I'm from Philadelphia originally. So we went to school together. We knew of each other. What, what, like, what is the point of you catfishing me? Like, like I said, I don't feel like it was catfish. I feel like what the fuck? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So what is it? So what is it? So what is it? So what is it? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch your mouth. I watch your mouth. What? Where'd that come from? What? We have to remind ourselves that this dude moved to Atlanta for this person, and this now person just said, "I'm not catfishing you, but I live in Philly, and my name is Michael, but my name's not Michael." How do you think that's okay to do? Like I'm asking. Well, you, you said you up and listen. You shut the. Whoa! Oh hell no! Damn! So, if you, you shut the up anyway, you, back hey, to what? you guys. Back, you want me to answer your question or not? Take. But can we take a time out? You saying that's you in the picture? That's what you're saying? You do not look like that. Fake ass Whoopi Goldberg. Hold on. <laughs> With fake ass Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh no, this is not going well. Called him Bow Wow. Oh no. Oh, no. Well, this is going well. It seems like they're falling in love all over again. I'm I'm sure that uh uh Romeo is happy to be moved to Atlanta to do, for this. I do like his wall, though. I will say that's a cool wall. Michael, why are you being so Because I will not insulting. continue to be... Because I will not continue to sit here. You deserve no. to be... No, you shut the f*** up at me. What? No, you shut... No. Bro. Whoa, this is the most I've ever... Shut up! It's the most I've... That's the most disrespect I've ever seen to need. That is unacceptable. No. You deserve to eat you some... You big-ass Whoopi Goldberg. Give us something. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. This is supposed to be my show. Can we put Michael in, a, in the waiting room for a second? I'm confused. I mean, it's about time that you got cussed out on this. Damn, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen anybody go after Neve before. What the hell did Neve do taking strays? With this little scooter in the background. You can't yell at a man with a little scooter like that. It's a Vespa. Oh, my goodness, man. Cammy looks like she's about to cry. Damn. Did not expect that at all. I'm sick of being the punching bag on this show. <laughs> this this guy is unbelievable. Damn. You catfish somebody, you would think that you would come in like, you know, uh, more calmer. He come yeah. in aggressive. He's kind of delusional. I asked you one question and I still don't know the answer to it. Like, what's the point of you? I feel like everybody has this. Not everybody, but a lot of a lot of families or honestly, a lot of white people. <laughs> I've seen this in my my like white friends houses it's like those signs you get from like you know like tj max or something it just has a bunch of just random words in different fonts or it'll say like at like boat houses it'll be like boat house meet me by the lake bring a glass of wine but don't be late you know some bullshit like that Catfishing me. all right here we go damn that was a wild one i'm guessing they just kind of said f it to that guy well damn i'm sorry about that neve now we got dylan and ally Okay, here we go. I don't know if his lip is big or is that his tongue? He might have the biggest bottom lip ever. Hey! Oh, that was his tongue. He kind of looks like um Anthony from Smosh. Shut up! Ooh, mop top. What's up, Dylan? Hey, guys. How's mop going? top. Damn, I'm doing a good, quick, man. I just a quick saw your joke email. from Max. So tell us how yeah. that all started with Ali. How did you guys even meet on Facebook? I'm pretty sure like I was just scrolling down my friend's list and I accepted her. And she commented on nice tats. I thought she said nice tits. On my stuff, and I was like, it's "Okay, you know, you're really pretty." And we just started talking from there. Here we are, all along, doing her Damn, are all girls in OK? That's Oklahoma, as pretty as you. She said, "Come here and find out for yourself." Damn, OK, Ally with the Riz, Walt Disney World. How quickly did you guys exchange phone numbers? It was rather quick. And I think our first conversation was like three hours long. We hit it off. Okay. It was incredible. And you said you met Allie cool right voice. around the time that your mom passed. It was like a couple months before my mom passed away. Oh, that's a shame. When she passed away, I got really distant. Like I shut everybody down. I didn't talk to nobody. Understandable. And she found out what happened. You hear how they switched the pa piano though? I know what you're doing MTV, they put the real Sad piano music, which is just sad, but you know, they know how to set the tone. To my mom, and she kept on me, like she kept messaging me, making sure I was okay. That's she good, showed at least, like dude. a lot of compassion. At least this catfish is nice. 
and like just start it falling from there. And like you know, we would have phone calls. Some I calls bet Max would be feels intimate. Bad saying mop and head now. It was though. going really, really great until recently. I got a text. Uh oh. And it said, "Ali is not who she said." Damn, it's always it's like the same thing each time, man. She is. I'm just like dumbfounded. Whoa. I don't even know how they got my number. And I asked, I was like, who is this? And they, they never replied. Did you bring up that text with Allie? I did, and she kept repeating the same question. She just kept asking me, do you trust me? Oh, do you no. trust me? And I said, I do. Do you trust me is a weird thing to say, because what you would say is, uh, let's just FaceTime right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's me, or let's link up, or hello? Like, I keep pausing this poor man at a weird time. It looks like he's, you know, just put a lemon drop in his mouth, but a lemon head. But, uh, yeah, I, I, it's like, hey, this person uh, says you're not who they say you are. Do you trust me? Uh, yeah, but but what do you think about that? I mean, that's random. Do you trust me? Like, yeah, motherfucker, just get on FaceTime or something. Damn. But Come on, Allie. Nervous. Allie Cat? And, like, how can I make this move if I don't know? He's gonna for move sure too. She's who she says she is. Man, these people this love is like moving. dire for me. Okay, here we go. Now we have the the phone call here with the friends and Mr. Dylan. Hey, this is Clay. I'm here with the guys from Catfish, and uh, we're just All right. wanting to ask some questions. Okay. Hey, okay. Chelsea, right? Yes. Hey, this is Neve, and we're sitting with Dylan, who you, I oh. believe, texted. Is that right? Okay, this is the person that texted him and said, hey, Allie's not who she is, right. says she yeah, is. I texted him. We were just wondering why you felt compelled to reach out to him. Well, I felt that nobody should be lied to like that. So I thought he should know the truth. How long have you known that? I will say, I'm not a, I'm not, not that I'm one to judge, but I'm not a big fan of this bamboo just shooting out of this glass like that. I don't really like it. That Mary's been catfishing people. She's been catfishing since she was 14 years old. Oh, boy. Whoa, Who the hell is Mary? She She's 20. Is she a six-year pro. She a vet in the game. Wow. Okay. Does Mary know that you reached out Mary had out a little lamb. I know that. Um, yes. And was she upset? or I guess this is Mary's what? friend. When I first told her, she was a little upset. I'm putting the pieces together with you, Chad. Sometimes they jump and I got to figure it out. It looks like maybe... Her friend, the, the person that's catfishing him, her friend was like, nah, this ain't cool. And, uh, you know, Mary had a little land. Mary had a little scam. You know what I'm saying? We reached out to her. She hasn't responded. Do you think you could tell her we'd like to meet her? And do you think she would? Um, I mean, I don't really know. I don't want anyone to be mean. Like, I'm very protective over her. That is not our intention. So I don't think you need to worry about that. Okay. I will get Mary to come over. Come over to Maybe your place. Maybe it's her. Maybe it's Chelsea. I can send you my address. Yeah, send me oh, your address. Oh, it's going to be just Ch There is no Mary, huh? She made it up. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Let us know when we're all clear. Okay. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. I feel like I remember this girl. Wait a second. I feel like I remember this girl from an episode. Neve. Hi. Mary. Mary good to meet you. And, uh, this is Dylan. Yep. Well, it's certainly not Allie, I'll tell you that much. So, we, we obviously have a lot of questions. Oh, gosh. I just want you to know, I wasn't trying to hurt you. Every time. Every time they say that. You Oops. are my person, and you know that. Oh, no. You... She did not just say, you are my person. You are my person, and you know that. Oh, that's scary. Whoa, wait a second. That's like villainous, the way she... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You've oh. been my person. He's always been there, no matter what. I'm scared. I didn't want it to be like this. I love you and I care about you. Anthony from Smosh Run. And I'm so, so sorry about all this. Yeah. Oh, Why well, pretend to be somebody else? I've been doing this for a very long time. I've always been that outcast girl, so then when you go to another yeah. world like internet yeah. you get to be whoever you want and and what about the girl whose pictures you're using her name is really Allie um, she's caught me before 
I don't. Okay, if you're catfishing somebody, once, why would you use the same name? This has happened in multiple episodes. Like, what? Why the same name? What would you? It's like the catfish 101 would be like. Okay, if her name's Allie, make it like Megan. Because <laughs> then if she types in Allie and it comes up, it's like, yep. No wonder she's caught you. What in the world? She has said some rude things to me, but not, I mean, who wouldn't? She has said some I've rude things to you because pictures. you were catfishing? Yeah, well, I think that's okay to say what some rude things. What about your story that Dylan knows is true? You said a lot of things about where you were. Everything's worked, true, except everything else. Maybe some things I did say were not correctly right. Um, I do go to college. Are you studying to be in the medical? Yes, profession? I do want. I do want to be um, a general surgeon. But you don't oh work boy. at a hospital. I don't trust no. her. I don't want her doing surgery on me with the way she's lying. She just make up. She just make shit up. Obviously, Dylan's gone through a pretty traumatic last couple. Oh of yeah, years. I, didn't, I just kind of remember, dude. This dude's gone through. His mom passed away, dude. This is this is rough, man. Justice for Dylan here. And was pushing people away. That's Why a shame. did you fight to stay in his life? Sorry, Buster. Yeah. Ugh. Buster. He was my person when I needed him, and I was going to be there even if I wasn't the real person. What? You, <laughs> you were my person, and even though I'm not the person that I say I am, I'm still a person. Feel bad oh, yeah. poetic. and lying to him at that point? Yeah. I mean, poetic. I don't feel good. Have you tried to actually stop it? Yeah, I've tried and I just go back. There's oh, something that pushes me to go back. The real girl is contacting you and your cousin selling you out. Oh, well, so it was actually not. Okay, so it was actually your cousin. Okay, it wasn't a friend. Her cousin. You look good for her cousin. Good for Chelsea. Being like, Mary, you're, you're out of your mind, Mary. Mason Clay thought he was talking to right, they confronted Allie's you about sister it. and right. Yeah. They right. all these people are kind of like confronting you now. Like it's like my it's weird to say to people. Like it's like my addiction. It's weird to come out, but it, it's like the attention and the strive to get that attention. I really like the space bun she's got. It's given Star Wars. You said the word addiction. Yeah. You know, which is um, kind of an admission that this, things uh. have kind of gotten out of control. Yeah, oh, I'm not gonna God, stop by myself and I know it's not going to. It's like a barn door. Oh, hold on, damn, that's scary, whatever. Control. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop by myself, and I know it's not going to. Ever. Bro, is this a horror film? I feel like you could easily take this and edit into, like, Catfish, the horror movie, and, like, this would be the plot right here. Because this man has not said a word, I don't blame him. Uh-oh. Okay, that went really bad, and I feel very bad for Dylan. Okay, this might be the last one here. Got an email here from an anonymous... Jesus and Alexis. All right. Jesus Christ. I'm a sender. Mm. Whoever it is goes by Baby A. Baby oh, A. God. Baby A. I tried to tell this guy in San Antonio to stop talking to this girl, Nicole, who I know is a catfish. Okay. He Thank you for the emojis. They bond over wrestling, but it's all B. Wrestling. I love wrestling. <laughs> oh. I love SmackDown. I used to when I was younger. I don't watch it as much as I, I watch like the big, like the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and stuff. But oh no, not wrestling. Yes. yes I've learned about myself a lot. The guy who's getting fooled is named Jesus. Here's his Facebook and phone number. I'm not sure which of the fake profiles he's talking to, but here's the profile for the real girl, Nikki. Whoa. So we've got a whistleblower. Hi, is this uh, Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Um, yes? This is Neve from Catfish. Have you, are you familiar with that show? Yeah, I, I am. We got an email from someone. <laughs> they didn't say their name. Confused. Says they know you're talking to a catfish and that this person tried to tell you that. That's weird because the wall back, I got a text saying that Nicole isn't who she says she is, but I don't know a Nicole. Wait, you don't know a Nicole? Wait, huh? I'm talking to online it's Alexis. Oh no, they're gonna do a little edit where it goes from Nicole to Alexis. Come on. Wait, I knew it. I'm so smart. Oh, someone's here. Great, perfect timing. If a JC's here, the dog's gonna go crazy. Can't wait. Oh boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Pause for 20 seconds. Sorry about that. Let's see who is here. I'll check in real time. I love the ring doorbell thing. 
That was a bar. Let's see. A lot of people came. Okay. What? Jesus! Hi! What's Hi. up? I'm Cammy, by the way. Hi! So, wait, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay, you're 21. 21. You live in San Antonio. Why did we get an email saying that some random person thinks you're getting catfished? I have no idea. Like I said, I don't know a Nicole. I've been talking to someone named Alexis. And how long have you been talking? For almost a year. Have you guys video chatted? Yeah. I asked one time if her phone was broken. Oh, the old broken the phone. The old phone was broken. <laughs> Have you and Alexis ever exchanged any money or gifts? She asked me for money two times, but couldn't give it to her because I didn't have none. Catfish has always asked for money. It seems like the go-to thing here. I'm already feeling bad for Jesus here. Does anybody in your family know about Alexis? Not really. The only person that knows is like my best friend, Star. Got it. Look, we don't Patrick know what's Star? going on here, but someone, and we don't know who, seems to think you are getting catfished. I don't know. I still think Alexis is who she says she is. Oh boy. Do you want oh boy, our help? Go well. Do you need our help or do you feel like you've got things under control? I want to find out who this person is who sent the text. Okay, so you're actually more interested in who the anonymous he doesn't even informant try to find is out who than you are. So. Right? He's like, I don't even care who Alexis is. Who sent that goddamn text? <laughs> who the girl you're talking to is? Yeah, her. She like, I want like, I want to meet her. I want to finally get to see her and everything. Okay. The only thing we haven't tried is texting or calling this mystery informant that texted you. Yeah. Which which we could try. You still have that number. Yeah. Okay, great. Let me try oh, texting. Boy. Got that Samsung. It's kind of funny to like if you're reading this and you're like high or something, and you get a text and it's like, "Hey, it's Neve. We're with Jesus." <laughs> like, um, like the Jesus. Okay. And you not haven't contacted Alexis at all, right? No. Can we try that too? Sure. Oh boy. I think we should call Alexis. Who the heck is that girl? Is that Star? Let's give it a shot. Okay, it was hey, a girl Alexis. Uh, this is Neve. Hey, what's up? It's Alexis. Leave a message after the tone. That would have been way worse. And I'm here in Texas with Jesus. It's Alexis, we're Texas. We're making Catfish, which I assume you're somewhat familiar with. And we're at the point where we'd like to now figure out a way to get you and Jesus to meet each other. So give me a call back if you get a chance uh, at this number, and hopefully we'll hear from you shortly. Thanks. Oh, what? Uh oh. Wait, this quick. is from the other, the mystery texter. It says, Ooh, what is it says, if you want more info, we should meet in person. Oh, boy. In person? Man, Jesus is Agreed. ready to go. That would be great. Yes. Where are you? He really wants to meet the mystery person. I'm about person. two and a half hours away. I'm in San Marcos. It's on the way to Austin. Do you guys know San Marcos? Yeah. I know where that's at, San Marcos. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. Just sent an Ooh. address and said, come ASAP. Damn. What? A little Who scary. Who are you? And who are you, may I ask? You can call me Baby, baby A. A. Oh, baby there's Baby A. A. Baby Alexis. Mm. We gotta get up there. It's a child. Yes, we do. Baby A? Yeah. Is that I, you? That's me. Okay. So mysterious. Baby A is probably the catfish. Uh, childhood nickname. I'm Cammy. Amanda. Nice, nice to meet you. Amanda. Wait, what's your name? Amanda. I've heard that name before. Well, I think I, I think Amanda's a common name. <laughs> I think he's gonna say like I've I've no. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Like, well, yeah, it's a you know. Like in regards to Alexis. Yeah. Oh, okay. We were friends. Yeah. And uh, we so had a huge falling out. All right. Okay. So you and Alexis used to be friends. Yes. Okay. You know her as Alexis. Okay. Yeah. I know her as Nicole. <sighs> Right. She's really not a good person at all. Oh, um, she's got so many different profiles, so many different names. So, okay, so the, the Nikki Facebook page that you sent us is a real person 
that's their real profile. Yes. But Nicole, the person that you used to be friends with who's been talking to Jesus, isn't the girl in those pictures. Correct. So why did you send us that Facebook page? Because I assumed that's what she had sent him. How many profiles do you know of <laughs> that she has? I know of Alexis, uh, Nicole, Bella. Yeah, Bella. There's probably more so, than that. So this is Alexis. So I've yeah. seen that picture before, but I don't, that's not who Nicole okay, so is. so that's not Nicole, so okay. No. This is a career for her. She literally, Lit. No, she extorts people out of money. Lives off of what she does. I'm not kidding so you when I'm telling you. She's a scam artist. She's yes. a professional like catfisher. Crim, like a this is what we had a friend. falling out oh, over. Oh, poor Jesus. So you discovered that she was doing... So no wonder she was asking for money. She's this... How, dude, once again, just get a job, dude. What? I know it's not as easy to get a job, but like... Come, come, come on. This. I discovered she was using pictures of my daughters to send... Oh, hell no! Are you always this pathetic? Oh my god! Bruh. Come on, man! <laughs> Shut up! Sometimes I gotta just let the soundboard do the talking. Excuse me? She was using her own friend's daughters to cat th That's uh, probably illegal and also insane. And also, what the hell? And to these people <gasps> saying that this is her daughter oh no oh, no see me and uh, me and cammy we're on the same page oh, oh hell, hell no. no that's the definition of that face right there oh hell no that was livid that's so bad oh my god they're about to go confront oh boy this is this is scary that's a nice door though i'll say that it's a looks like a door i got in the sims all right we're about to meet oh it's a motel oh boy hi Hi. Oh no. Alexis. Yeah. Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Alexis, Nicole, Bella, uh, Amanda, Sandra, Casey, Miranda. They just keep, she's like, yeah, 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 keep going. I have more. Yep. Yeah. Ashley. Yep. That was my best one. Stephanie. Oh, I love Stephanie's profile. Yep. Okay. What should we call you? Nicole. Nicole. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, glad you're here. It almost makes it look like he's Obviously, talking to a door. Hey, Zeus is here. He wants to meet you. We have some questions too. So if you're ready, why don't you come outside? I'm ready. Oh my God. Who's that? I remember this girl too a little bit, but maybe a long time ago. Oh, wow. She got on the we, Jays, she got on the Jordan. That's Alexis. <sighs> oh, hey, so, Zeus. Nicole. Mm -hmm. This is Jesus, and you are the person he's been talking to, is that right? Okay. Oh boy, she's scary. Oh, poor Jesus. So what's been going on here? Because we got a whole story from Amanda. Clearly you're not the girl in no, the picture. Amanda right? made the profile. Okay. Wait, Amanda made, Amanda, the profile. Amanda made the profile years ago. Uh -oh. She was doing this and that. She used to be my best friend. She's not anymore. Hold on, so you're saying that when- Amanda, who snitched on Nicole, was the one that made the profile? This is just a whole effed up triangle here. Jesus started talking to Alexis. He was actually talking to Amanda. He was talking to her and then I took over. Oh, How long boy. have you been uh, the profile? I was talking to him like a little over a year. So pretty much yeah. the whole time? Yeah. And it was you in the video chat, right? It was me. Okay, so you are the catfish. She didn't Who's like that Who's the girl one? in the Alexis profile? That's my cousin. Oh my God, she's using her damn cook. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. man. Come, Come on, on man. man. Come, Come on, on man. man. You got to be kidding me. What's with these people using family like that? What is that? Using her own cousin, her own. You can't just Google somebody. You can't go. You got to use her, your cousin. Oh, dude. The cousin. Then she was using her friend's daughter. Dude, what a psycho Nicole is. Oh, her pictures. Oh, you use pictures of your psycho, cousin. absolute yes, psycho. That's quote unquote Alexis. Put her in, throw her in jail. And she knew you were using her pictures, or not? No, Amanda no. didn't tell her nothing. Amanda befriended her like a friend. You know, hey, let's do this together. I said okay. Oh no! Oh, that was oh, hey Zeus. I'm sorry. I'm gonna boo for for Nicole. Oh. 
Now, sometimes these episodes have some happy endings, and but this one did not have any good endings in any way. Um, my goodness, the cousin thing, this did the daughters. Oh man, that leaves me with a. I, this is how I feel. Go back to desktop. Okay, Kathy. I feel like Kathy. I feel like Maddie right there. Okay, I've been watching a lot of Dance Moms on stream. Okay, I feel like Mackenzie. I feel like a lot of them. Okay, I feel like whoever this is. That was that was that was brutal. I'm sorry to Mr. Jesus. He deserves better. So does Dylan. All right, guys. Well, if you have watched this long, that means you've been here for 45 minutes. If you're doing some laundry or just using this in the background, I appreciate it. If you can, make sure to give the video a like and. Uh, over 70% of you that watch these are not subscribed, so this is me kindly asking you if you don't mind and you're enjoying the content, please subscribe um, and maybe leave a comment uh, about something throughout the video if you can as well. Just really helps me out a lot. Once again, I'm a one-man team. I do this by myself. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, really appreciate your support. Thank you guys for watching, and anyone who made it this far, I really appreciate your support as always. And... Uh, I'll be back again with some more videos. If there's ever a lapse, it's just because of copyright crap. But I'm always trying my best. And make sure to follow my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash notryanabe, um, where I do a lot of these live. And it's they're usually fun, and I don't get to upload a lot of them, like my Kitchen Nightmares and uh, some of the Dance Mom stuff, Super Nanny. Um, you can catch live, and I promise we have a good time. So link's in the description. Make sure you follow that. Enough about all that, though. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And uh, I'll see you guys next time right here on Ryan's Average Bots. Bye, everybody.